Printable Science presents PVC Pipe Profiles. One of Printable Science's design principles is to incorporate standardized sizes and dimensions wherever possible or practical. The reason for this is straightforward. Oftentimes, projects call for parts that can be printed on a 3D printer, but just don't lead to a cost-effective solution. Take, for example, something simple like a, like a stand, which in a no-frills representation might consist of a base with a tube stuck in it. Now, you could print this column on your 3D printer, but why would you? There are plenty of inexpensive, readily available building materials that could be used instead. One of the most popular common building materials is a plastic plumbing pipe made of PVC or polyvinyl chloride. Hobbyists like it because it's lightweight, fairly rigid, and easy to cut. On the other hand, another printable science design principle is that whenever and wherever possible, you should be able to complete our projects using only what you can produce on a 3D printer. When designing our projects, we envision ourselves on board the International Space Station, and even though down here on terra firma, it's usually just a short drive to the local big box hardware store to pick up some readily available part. The same can't be said if you're orbiting the planet 250 miles or about 400 kilometers from Earth. So the compromise we've come up with is to model projects with the non-3D printed materials in mind, but provide a 3D printed option that satisfies our design principle of projects that can be completed as much as possible with only a 3D printer. To that end, we're working on a number of projects that need pipe, and we'll be thinking PVC, but in this video we'll be supplying some STL files so that if you are stranded on the International Space Station or some tropical island and you just can't get a hold of some PVC pipe, you can always print off the tubing you need on your printer. PVC is available in a variety of diameters in one quarter inch increments, from half an inch to two inches, although for some reason there is no one and three quarter inch pipe. And these sizes are what we call nominal, as half an inch PVC pipe doesn't have a half inch diameter either internally or externally. It's like the piece of lumber we call a 2x4, which is actually only 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches. Modeling PVC pipe is, of course, very simple indeed. It's just a cylinder subtracted from a large cylinder, and in creating these files, we're going to go with that, but with the published standards for what the actual dimensions for these pipes are. PVC is typically sold in 10-foot lengths, so it's unlikely you've got a 3D printer that can produce equivalent lengths, although it's also equally unlikely that we'll be requiring 10-foot lengths of tubing in any of our projects anytime soon. Regardless, we may be requiring lengths greater than the build of volume of your printer, which translates to 90 millimeters as printable science tries to stay within the limits of a 90 cubic millimeter build volume. So if you've got a small printer and you want to print every single part, then you're going to need a way to fasten smaller lengths of tubing together to produce longer runs. So we've provided both interior and exterior couplers. Interior if you need to keep the external diameter constant for the length of the tube, and an exterior coupler if you need to keep the internal diameter constant. So with these sections you can piece or glue together however many sections you need in order to get the length you want using either the internal plug or the external sleeve or a combination of both. We've provided STL files for the six most used PVC diameters as well as the exterior sleeves and interior plugs. All pipe and coupler lengths are 100 millimeters long and you'll probably want to adjust those heights when you're completing a project. As you probably know, Slicers make it simple to scale the dimensions of your object, so it'll be a simple matter to dial in the height you want. Now this only applies to the Z or Z dimension though. Doubling the X and Y size of a half inch pipe section doesn't give you a one inch pipe profile. The specifications for a PVC pipe are not linear like that. You can only safely scale the height. We printed these test sections in PLA with a 20% infill, three bottom and top layers, two perimeters and a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And we strongly suggest you print off a test of the PVC pipe diameter you're working with and do some test fitting. Far better to discover your tolerances are out of whack on a test print than to have your printer grind away for a couple of days, spitting out a whole bit of parts that are useless. 
For you folks out there on the space station or cast adrift on tropical islands with only a 3D printer and a box of filament, and for you purists out there who just want to make sure you're producing all your output on your printer, we hope our PVC sections are useful to you and you find them helpful for prototyping or completing your 3D printed projects. Thanks for watching, and won't you help by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful? You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety, and other Printable Science videos as well, perhaps while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3D STL files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you'll want to click on the notify bell as well. And please, consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. Being a Patreon supporter provides you with lots of extras and additional information, as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can print your own PVC pipe sections and couplers. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the use of PVC in 3D projects are available at the printablescience.com website, where all the science that fits, we print.